Have you ever wandered past a gorgeous garden and thought, wow, how do they do it? Garden beds filled with lush and healthy plants, loads of flowers and fruit. You probably think they must spend all their time in the garden. I reckon it's a fair guess that these beautiful gardens will all have one thing in common. They'll be well fed. You can feed your garden the old school way, regularly forking in manures and composts, or you can take a more time and back friendly approach. And use a modern fertiliser. The range available has the potential to be confusing. So let's have a look at the key differences between the main groups of fertilisers you're likely to run across. The dry fertilisers fall into four main groups. The basic, more traditional granulated products, organically derived fertilisers, the more advanced slow release type of fertilisers and the smart modern controlled release fertilisers. The basic granulated products are in many cases crushed and blended minerals or synthetic blends. They tend to be dusty, difficult to evenly distribute and most need to be reapplied quite frequently. As soon as the product is exposed to water and air it rapidly dissolves. The logic is that your plants will grab some nutrients as they flush through, but plants don't work like that. They only take up nutrients when the conditions are right and they actually need them, not just because they're available. They're also not a very sustainable way to feed because you tend to lose a lot of nutrients to run off and some of them will even acidify the soil, making it harder for plants to actually access nutrients. The organically derived products include things like traditional blood and bone. They're great for your plants and they're very good at stimulating soil microbial activity. However, their nutrient release is not regulated in any way. Once they get wet, they start breaking down and releasing. You do get the benefit of feeding all those fantastic soil microbes. However, you will need regular repeated expensive reapplications, especially after warm, wet or humid weather. Slow release fertilisers are a bit different as their particle size is more consistent. This is to even out the release of nutrients. But again, it's whether the plants are actually ready and able to take these nutrients up or not. You have the potential problem of excess nutrients being flushed through your garden and soil and ending up in the local environment. Once wet, they will just continuously break down and release nutrients into the soil. Now that's okay with lawn food where your grass is just going to suck it up, but it is certainly not ideal for your garden beds. There is, however, a smarter choice that I like to think of as being the place where science and sustainable ideas meet. Controlled release fertilisers. The main components have a name. They're called prills. The coating is multi-layers of permeable and biodegradable soy product and inside each little prill is a balanced microdose of nutrients. As the prills get wet they absorb tiny amounts of moisture and this dissolves the fertiliser inside. And here's the really clever bit, that coating won't release those dissolved nutrients until the temperature is in the right range for plant growth. Using a controlled release fertiliser means that your plants are being fed with just the right amount when they need it. You're feeding less often and more effectively, which of course is more economical. And it's a more sustainable and environmentally responsible way to feed. Osmocote controlled release fertiliser is what I feed my garden with. Oh, and one last tip. If you're looking for a fertiliser for the whole garden, then Osmocote all purpose is your go-to blend. And if you have a specialised need, you'll find there's an Osmocote variety specifically formulated to optimise the growth and performance of a range of plants. And then you'll get the best results in every part of your garden, just like those gorgeous gardens you've always marvelled at, all from just one small application as little as once a year.